Japanese, ska, punk, and punk, and whatever else you could classify this night show as is just so fun. amazing. Mm -hmm. People jumping off of the stage, jumping off of the bar, crowd surfing, and just so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, hi, Amina san. Good, Good morning. morning. It is another muggy, sweaty, <laughs> humid day in Tokyo. And we're going to remedy that with some sweets. Of course. We're going to eat a bunch of the sweets we got yesterday. If you didn't see that video, check it out. We went to a vegan food event, like a vegan food festival, and picked up a lot of food. Stop right there. Originally, we were going to show you all of the food that we got in detail and eat every single thing that we got. But then I sat down and was editing and found out that it was over 20 minutes long and the video is going to be too long with that. So we're going to link it up here. If it's done, it's not done. We're definitely going to link it up on this video still. So check out later on. We will have that in our Vegan in Japan playlist. But for now, back to the video. Now that we showed you all the stuff we got. Our good old plant bait. Plant-based <laughs> plant expo hall. <laughs> That's definitely what it, what it is. <laughs> we can't talk. We're going to eat everything. <laughs> everything. And then after that, we're going to go get some more sweets. We're going to... Today's basically just a vegan sweets day. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to show you some really cool districts of Tokyo that you haven't seen yet. Like... Harajuku, Shibuya, Shinjuku, so like all of the really popular areas of Tokyo. You'll see those today. Also, later on today, we're going to a Japanese punk and ska show. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be awesome because every time we've come to Japan, we've seen this band at least once. Mm -hmm. And it's so much fun and amazing. We can't wait to show you that. So much energy. We're going to eat. I never talk about these, but I have to make sure I duck. I hit my head really hard this morning, so I'm gonna be extra careful. So the place we're headed to first is called Good Times? Good Town. Good Town. Good Town Donuts in Harajuku. And it's down this like a little hidden alleyway tucked away from Takashita Street, which is like the main area of Harajuku. It's in a very picturesque area. Yeah. Just tucked away behind all the hustle and bustle of the big city. Yeah, it's not in like the Kauai district or anything, but it's really close to it. We made it a good town donuts and right next door is a place called the Little Bakery. Yep, the Little Bakery, Tokyo. And they have cinnamon rolls, so I got a vegan cinnamon roll. They also have some other breads that are vegan, like a baguette and a, it says little ball. <laughs> little like a little ball. Bun. <laughs> wow. They have other stuff that I wish was vegan, like their like bean buns and stuff, but mm -hmm. that's okay. And then Good Town always has a selection of like six or seven vegan donuts to choose from. Today we got maple walnut and raspberry pistachio. Sounds good. It's time to dig in. Going for the warm one first. This is so good. I definitely recommend going to a little bakery and then trying to ask for it warmed up. Um, last time they offered it to me, this time I asked and <laughs> it took a couple of tries before she understood what I was trying to say. Obviously that's my fault. But it's so good warmed up. It's delicious. Maple warm I'm going to try your nitro brew coffee. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> like I know I tried this before we were on camera. I knew it was going to be bad. But 
That's worse than it was the first time. <laughs> like, how does it get worse as it gets? It's so strong. It tastes like spicy. It's so strong, and I'm not just saying that because I'm white. Why do people drink coffee? What's wrong with you? I don't like it either. <laughs> All right, maple I walnut everything. donut. I regret everything. Full of regret. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Their donuts are really sweet. So they're delicious. So sweet that the first time we came here, Sarah couldn't even eat hers. Yeah, I have sensitive teeth and they literally, like, I was crying. It hurt so bad, but it was so good. There used to be another place to get donuts in this area called Donut Plant, but they betrayed us. Yeah, they really did betray us personally. It's from, they're from New York, but they had like one or two vegan donuts every time we went in. And they're like a, an eggless place, so they don't use egg at all. Yeah. And so it made sense for them to have a vegan donut. And then they were like, we're no longer going to be offering vegan donuts. Just for no no reason. For no, no reason. reason. It's 2019 and they were just like all of a sudden not going to have a vegan option. Like, what is that? So we're really happy to find Good Town because Good Town is better than they were anyway. It's a lot better, honestly. I don't know about their specialty coffee, though. Can't recommend that. <laughs> Right, last but not least, it's time for the raspberry pistachio. Wow. There it is. Wow. It's so tart. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's so, so tart. But it's good. Now that we have some good town donuts and the little town... No. <laughs> I just want to call it everything that is not. The little bakery. <laughs> it's time to show you Harajuku. Now that we've had our fill of the Harajuku Takashita area, it's time to head to Shinjuku to get some more food from a place called Wired Bonbon. And Wired Bonbon is special because the man who cooks there used to be the chef at one of our favorite Japanese restaurants in Kamakura, which closed. So getting to go there and have his desserts again is awesome. Bonbon, we're in Shinjuku, and the desserts were, were... so good. <laughs> <laughs> they were amazing. Yep. Always. We, we initially were only going to order the parfait with the cloud, but once we finished it, it was too good and we had to get more. So we got a crepe with azuki beans and matcha, and then we got a caramel apple cinnamon parfait, and they were all delicious. Super good. Now we're going to walk around Shinjuku a little bit before we head to Shibuya.
got to Shibuya, checked out the crossing, and... There was some crazy stuff happening in... Right outside the station, there was a protest for the mistreatment of Turkish people in Chinese concentration camps. So that was really sad, talking to someone who was personally affected by that. But then right next to that, there was a rave happening in support of today's voting day. Yep. <laughs> so there was a rave about voting and getting like teenagers so hyped to vote. <laughs> so that was cool. <laughs> Yep, we saw Hachiko and we saw the crossing and there's a mm -hmm. bunch of advertisements for weathering with you and I still really want to see it. Mm -hmm. So now we're on our way to go see our friends and you can't say no at the Ruby Room. That's the band. And that is the band that I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. The punk ska band from Japan. They're super cool. They're really fun. So yeah, we're like in the area right now about to walk in. It says it's at five and if so that's awesome because then we can like get out of there in time to eat something. But who will see? Who will see? We will. <laughs> <laughs> We're home. We just got back from the show at Ruby Room and it was so good. It was so awesome. Japanese ska punk and punk and whatever else you could classify this night show as is just That's so fun. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The punk scene in Japan is insane. That's really crazy. Like, I think it's my favorite because it's just so defiant of everything that mm -hmm. you're so used to the Japanese culture and Japanese society being about like like you're supposed to be just quiet and respectful all the time never get in anyone's way like and then they all these people just come in and are like screaming and jumping and hitting each other <laughs> it's awesome and I love it so much it's really awesome and they're all so nice and mm -hmm. like even though like I'm not one of them it's like totally fine for me to show up to their shows and they're always so nice to us and it's really cool to go to a ska show because there's not all that many left in denver so it's always fun to see them in tokyo people jumping off of the stage jumping off of the bar crowd surfing and just so much fun <laughs> so much fun thank you so much you can't say no and everyone else that played Thanks for helping us get into the show for a little cheaper and getting us a free drink ticket. That was mm. super awesome. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Now we're gonna head and try to find the hidden shrine of Akihabara. It's something we've been wanting to go to for a really long time. We never really found it. This time we're definitely gonna find it and we're gonna show you how to get there. 